Speaking of the gust front, what the heck is that? That's the leading edge of the rain-cooled, gusty air preceding a thunderstorm. It's a similar tale like a cold front, which we talked about in the last podcast, with a passage marked by wind shift and usually a drop in temperature and a related pressure jump. So the, the pressure changes. So that's that gust front we were talking about. Here's that gust front. And it, all of a sudden you get this huge gust front. The wind that starts at the beginning of a thunderstorm can be pretty amazing. you see that. Okay. Um, there's something also called a downburst. All right. Now, downbursts are pretty amazing things, too, is that um, because you have all this uh, rising air, sometimes the air will immediately drop very quickly, and it can cause a huge issue. It can collapse buildings. In fact, we'll show a clip here in a minute. So it's an area of significantly rain-cooled air that, after hitting the ground, spreads out in all directions, producing very strong winds. You get this down, and boom, it'll just knock things down. In fact, let's watch a cool video clip. This is actually from Dallas, Texas. It was at the Dallas, Texas uh, Cowboys, Dallas, Texas, the Dallas Cowboys football team um, practice field. You'll see it's pretty amazing. Dallas Cowboys are still assessing damage after a thunderstorm ripped through their practice facility in Irving, collapsing their indoor field structure about 3.30 this afternoon. You're watching video from WFAA as it happened inside. You can see the walls start to buckle. Incredible footage of the roof coming down in a matter of seconds. You see players ducking for cover, media members ducking for cover. The team was holding their rookie camp this weekend inside that air-supported bubble field like the one at UT. Almost immediately, the search begins for missing teammates and coaches. Some trapped underneath the structure. Four staff members were taken to the hospital with injuries while emergency crews searched through the wreckage. Irving Fire Rescue Teams ordered everyone away from the immediate area. And there you see the field from outside, back inside completely demolished. There were no fatalities. We also have aerial footage of the property. A tornado watch was issued in Dallas County about 1.50 p.m. A severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile an hour winds and penny sized hail was issued at about 3.30. Wow, that was pretty cool. All right, now, a question that's often asked about thunderstorms is where does the hail come from? Hail, okay. So uh, that's the ice crystals that fall out of the sky, right? Just in case you didn't know. Um, <laughs> well, first of all, you get this updrafts. You know, this is just caused by convection. And then uh, you get lots of updrafts, and then this hits this top here, and now we have little crystals um, because above a certain point, let's say at this point, it's freezing, so it's very cold. And all of a sudden, it makes a little ice crystal. Well, then it falls back down. Well, that's great. Well, it falls back down. Well, once it falls back down, eventually will come as rain. But what if it hits another updraft? So if it hits, an, it hits another updraft, it, well, the crystal can get bigger. And now you have a bigger ice crystal. And if, if it goes through kind of a series of cycles, it goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down, the hail gets larger and larger and larger. And as it gets larger and larger and larger, and then eventually it's going to fall. The weight of it is going to land on the ground, and that's when you get the large size hail. So it's this updraft freeze, fall down. Usually it'll melt, but if it doesn't completely melt, then it hits another updraft, it rises again, and it rises again. It makes another so yeah. Um, so here's kind of a diagram. Inside of a thunderstorm are strong updrafts of warm air and downdrafts of cold air, right? If the water droplet is picked up by the updrafts, it can be carried well above the freezing level. You don't need to copy all this down, but understand the process. With the temperatures below 32, well, it freezes. And as the frozen droplet begins to fall, carried by cold downdrafts, it may thaw as it moves into warmer air in the bottom of the thunderstorm. And that would be rain. However, but our little half-frozen droplet may also get picked up again by another updraft, carrying it back into very cold air and refreezing it. With each trip above and below the freezing level, our frozen droplet gets bigger or adds another layer of ice. Finally, he falls to the ground, but now he falls as hail. I have a pretty cool little clip about a hailstorm, so let's uh, look at this too.
wow, there is so much interesting stuff about um, the weather that can just be uh, totally cool. Hey, um, what we're really kind of talking about, the, sort of the in this, I kind of ended the last podcast with this. You start with the cumulus stage, right? That's the big fluffy stage. And then you get to the tour stage where now it gets very exciting. That's that picture that I had with all the interesting intricate diagram. And then, of course, it starts to dissipate. That's the point where the storm is sort of dying out. All the energy has kind of gone away. And so you know, remember that intricate diagram right here and so this is this is a mature thunderstorm in fact it's called a supercell in this case supercells can produce the tornadoes and we'll have a discussion about tornadoes in a later podcast but then eventually it will dissipate but this is the mature one we've got all kinds of interesting things that we're not going to get into uh, we're not going to talk about the the mammatus and the rear flank downdraft uh, there's all kinds of the virga you get all kinds of interesting um, parts to a thunderstorm and uh, the meteorologists they study this in great detail we're just going to kind of kind of hit the highlights so um, that's it for um, our second podcast we will see you in class bye